Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Okay, so Aquarius, let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, we have, where do we start? Hmm, we'll start in the middle. Um, you could be dealing with past love. Oh, look, I said past love, so it could be a past love. Someone who was a big love in your life or love of your life. Um, it showed you a lot of things about yourself. It was a, a very challenging experience, um, very moving, uh, lots happened. Or you could just be dealing with a past life experience. Um, so this could be that they are actually a past life. You knew each other in a past life, if you believe in that, or that you had a past life with this person in terms of maybe you were married to them, you lived with them, something of that nature where you had, you had a life with them, okay? If this is past life, I don't believe that you guys got the lesson in this lifetime. You might see each other in the next lifetime, if you believe in all that stuff. Um, I just don't think this person or, or you, I really feel like it was the other person that wasn't ready for the lesson, okay? Um, therefore, Aquarius, you're going to have new love, okay? A new lease on life, a new phase in your life is coming to where your positivity, radiance will be with you. You will radiate um, love, light, and therefore um, you will attract that and um, you'll meet someone vibrating on that uh, level. You know on that same wavelength so that's really good um it looks like you had an emotionally moving situation happen to you something that charged you emotionally okay um it could have been recently um in the near past whatever i don't know something where it kind of prompted you to talk to this person that you were estranged from or vice versa this is what happened with them um, you also could have moved, like a, just a physical relocation. You could be redecorating your home. You could um, be, you could have moved from one job to another, also says this card. But you had something that puts you in a place of feeling like you needed to reach out. You needed a lifeline. You needed to bounce something off of someone else. Um, it, this moving situation puts you back into... Um, maybe an old dynamic and that's why past life is coming up you, you also this person could have reached out to you you were open to it or you reached out to them um but in that reaching out you had to question your motivation and theirs okay um because in conversation with them <clears throat> with this person you you were judging you were judging everything that they were saying i mean you weren't like actively judging you know in terms of telling them i am judging everything you're saying but you were listening very closely you were judging their responses and you came to the conclusion that it was all frivolous this was frivolity at best um it was their conversation who they are what they're about is irregular changing fickle up and down hot and cold off and on it just wasn't constant there was no consistency with them so you you determined that um this uh relationship is going to be a no-go the answer is no it's too risky i'm going to lose something in this i'm going to decrease in i don't know you fill in the blank you've just felt like I'm not, there's no, nothing valuable about this connection. Also, you may have felt this way about other people, friends, family. You just started to judge uh, connections. Is it valuable? Am I adding value to this person or these persons? If I'm not, then I have to let it go. This talks about a breakup, breakup of a relationship. Um, someone's inability to cope, you know, so... Someone is suffering sorrow. Uh, this could have happened previously too, where you had a conversation with someone. In that conversation, you found that they were 
always changing the story when it came to you or changing their mind when it came to the relationship or were you still with this person so you decided to break up to leave and you left this person in sorrow you left them at a place of once again not being able to cope with change um malady or malady focus there we are <laughs> um you left them at a seat at you kind of felt like this person only wants to have sex with me. They only want to get me in the bed. Uh, this is one of the few cards that have a bed on it. So that comes to mind too. Um, or you just felt like this person just wants the physical. So they'll say anything. And that's why they're so irregular in their mood towards me. In their attitude towards me. In their conversation when it comes to me. When I converse with them. Nothing is constant. It is always changing. Therefore, you said, okay, I have to be um, strong. I am stronger than I know. Okay? And I have to move on from this. Okay? Because uh, if I stay here, this is going to drive me crazy. And I'm not going to get what I want. And it's too risky. You said this is way too risky. Um, you, you felt like you were betting against the odds. You knew you were in a losing situation. Uh, also, for some of you, you knew that... Um, there was another woman. This person may have put you on a pedestal as the beauty queen, but there was always someone lurking in the background. And this person could have been a twin flame. And they could be fair skinned also. Okay. Um, but this person is saying, look, I'm aware of the shit I've done. Please forgive me. Okay, yeah, you get forgiveness. And um, they're saying, look, I don't have a lot of uh, time because I'm trying to get more money for us. Yeah, maybe for you, but not us. Um, you could be saying, look, especially with this hot and cold, off and on, up and down conversations that you two have, you could be saying, look, grow up. Um, you're way too old for this, okay? Um, and this person, either they say it out of their mouth or they say it with their actions or you just intuitively know this, but you know that they purposely keep you confused. Um, a confused mind can't make decisions. Do you know that? Think about all the times that you are or you were confused. It was hard for you to decide. It was hard for you to be um, unmovable, unchanging in a direction. You just couldn't choose which direction. So some people keep you purposely confused because they know you'll never move, you know. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and this person might have been confused um, and didn't make a decision between you and another person, okay, because there were options. Also, they could have been very prideful, conceited, overly ambitious, thinking that they were God's gift to the earth, haughty, um, haughtiness, okay? Um, thinking that they uh, th they get a lot of attention also with this peacock coming up. Um, they could be flashy. They could just have a lot of things that attract um, eyes to them, okay? Um, you do have memories about this person, but you're having the courage to move the hell on, okay? And maybe even join a support group that will help you get through this, okay? And you also could just be putting more energy, focused time into yourself. Also, this talks about working out, exercising, okay? So just focus on you, Aquarius, because this person has not changed or they are not changing. Um, they have not grown. Once again, I don't think you guys are going to get the lesson here in being together in this lifetime. So just move on. Maybe in the next lifetime. Like Erica Badu says, I guess I'll see you next lifetime. All right, take care, guys. I hope that it resonates for you. If it did, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you feel like you got took something from the reading. You can give something back by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.